Welcome back to Procrastinating with Russell. I'm your host, Russell Brown. Today, we're going to be making beautiful, colorful hair pieces. Sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, sparkly head pieces. No. <laughs> Today, I'm going Crispy, crumpy crunch. Baked on a buttery, uh, crispy crust. Damn. Flaky. And then the old lady does it and then she fucks up too. <laughs> After telling him he was shit. <laughs> Baked in a buttery crispy flake. <laughs> I remember that one. That was a good one. This is Vivian, my beautiful baby girl. She, <laughs> for some weird reason, whenever we turn on the camera, she just wants to be in the shot as well. we're ignoring her. And she wants to be a little diva superstar, just like her mummy. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be making little hair sparkly pieces to put in wigs. I run a wig styling company with my partner, Esther. And just to make it clear, I don't make the wigs. I don't style the wigs. <laughs> Esther styles the wigs. Christian Esther styles the wigs. I run the business, doing business things. And you make pretty sparkly stuff. And I make pretty sparkly stuff as well, which is what I'm going to be doing with these wigs. Recently, Esther made a butterfly and I thought, that looks shit. I could, <laughs> I could do it so much better. Because I get hyper fixated on stuff because of my anxiety, I've been non-stop thinking about making a better butterfly than his. <laughs> and um, I want, he, he did a butterfly, um, a, a blue butterfly here. <laughs> like always, I had pointers and constructive criticism, <laughs> which he doesn't take well. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's wrong. Russell, I asked you to do it and you refused and said, no, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. I can't be bothered. I don't want to do it. And then I had to make the butterfly. I asked you if you wanted to do it. And then you started giving me advice on how it should be done when you could have done it in the first What are these lies? <laughs> I did ask you to do it. No. You're such a liar. <laughs> You've never lied so much in your life. I hope they can see the lies in your no. in your eyes. <laughs> what a lie. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was doing something very important. <laughs> I want to do a monarch butterfly. So, you know, with the typical butterfly with the orange, I'm going to be using the same materials that Christian used. Shrink plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, you're scaring me. <laughs> the shrink plastic, the wings. Put it in the oven and it shrinks. And it, it turns into like a hard plastic. But I'm going to use markers, permanent markers. And I'm going to see if I can have like a nice see-through, semi-transparent butterfly. And then I'm going to add glitter and crystals to it afterwards. Christian tasked me with choosing the coloured wigs this week. So I chose these three colours. The butterfly, I've chosen to put in this. And the other two, I haven't decided yet. So we'll start with the first one and um, we'll go from there. So let's move to my craft room and get started. So I printed off a photo of a monarch butterfly because I want to go for a realism look. <laughs> so I'm going to trace the butterfly. I'm going to secure the paper to the shrink plastic. You know what I just realized? This would be a type of thermoplastic as well. In my previous video, I spoke about warbler thermoplastic where it melts when you heat it up. So this shrinks when you heat it up. And the other day, I realized that hot glue is also a thermoplastic. I'm just using any old Sharpies, textures, colors. You can use all sorts of things to color on the sheet. You've got a shiny side, and then you've got this textured kind of um, uh, and cloudy side. And the cloudy side is what you colour on. What Using one? these markers, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to colour it in. 
<laughs> okay, so say, let's do it. Uh, let's do this! <laughs> oh, you're so passionate. So Christian thinks that the markers aren't going to be good enough. Well, let's prove him wrong. It'll be too faint. Monarch butterflies aren't see through. But anyway, that's your, that's your vision. The way you like it, the way you want to do it, the way you create. So you do whatever you want. Exactly. <laughs> Now I've done both wings and you can see to make sure that it's extra bright I took off the, the picture and I went over some of the lines just to make sure they were like extra dark. You want it to all be even especially when it shrinks down because the colors do change they get a little bit more vibrant so now i'm going to I'm going to cut it out and put it in the oven i'm being very careful with cutting out the wings when it shrinks everything shrinks so if you don't have the exact shape, you can't really change it. I love it. Looks so cool. I love it. I love making stuff. Can you do it more often, honey? Eh? It's the anticipation. You know, like I love crafting and it makes me feel so good or making things and doing things, but it's just starting it is so daunting sometimes you know what i mean you're like <gasps> and like sometimes you know like i don't know like i find i'm pedantic about little things and making a mess oh i can't be bothered cleaning it up also you're you the way you overthink if you don't have one item or you don't have a specific thing even though you don't need it straight away you can't start it all you need everything yeah, yeah. i i I'm definitely like that. I need to have everything. I have to have every item. If I don't have one item, I can't do it until I've got it. It's weird. It's like, it's, it's like. <laughs> so what do you want to say? What? It's fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I don't think it's just because of um, like myself having anxiety, but I think it's creatives in general. You don't want to be wasteful and you don't want to waste your your product. So sometimes you just don't use it. <laughs> yeah. You you're just, just like sit on a shelf. You just you yeah. just let it sit on the shelf and you're like I brought these beautiful paints but I'm never going to use them. <laughs> but if you don't create, you don't You want something to rhyme. Yeah, I want something to rhyme. If you don't make, you just hate. Yeah, if you don't make, you just hate. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Thank you, honey. Moral of the story is Nike. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. But no, talk about me. <laughs> Sometimes your mind, you can trick your mind into getting into the groove. You know, you can only do it when you, your, your mind's in the right Headspace. When your mind's in the right headspace, that is the word, headspace. <laughs> now, thank you for being in my TED Talk, and <laughs> let's go to the oven. Actually, no, I'm just going to touch up the sides. So around the edges, I'm going to colour it in black. I'm just going to finish this up, and I'll meet you at the oven. My pretties. I don't know. It's done. It's flat. Like 
like paint shrinking? Did you shrink them too much? I think I put my paint up. You can use something to flatten them if they're not exactly flat. Look how tiny they are. Oh my god, they're so small! Thumbs up. <laughs> well, you can see, look at the size comparison of the wings. I did it exactly the same size as that, and look how small it shrunk. But how cute did I look? Both sides look good as well, like the shiny side has a shininess to it, but because I am going for a realistic look, I'm, I'm still going to use the textured side. I'm gonna add some little orange crystals to it. I'm gonna make a body out of warbler, and I'm hoping that I can put the wings in it. If it doesn't stick properly, uh, I will just use hot glue. Or maybe some E6000, my favourite. Spons me. <laughs> you can use a hair dryer. Hey, at least... It literally took 20 seconds. But this is like... <laughs> and then I'm like... <laughs> I'm not going to use a hair dryer. I did end up painting the butterfly. So when I traced it, obviously I didn't have a white marker to white out and um so it just left it clear so i ended up painting it white and at first i was like worried that it was gonna look shit but when i did it i was like this makes it look real I ended up using E6000 and hot glue to glue on the wings. And then I put little black crystals on the body and little itsy bitsy teeny weeny AB crystals for the eyes. Hello, and I'm done. I'm finished. This is the finished look. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Look what I procrastinated. Because I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> and I procrastinated this. <laughs> I'm going to get the hang of that for the future videos. <laughs> Top of bed and next one tomorrow. <laughs> we are getting B roll for my video. Oh, look. Isn't it a beautiful butterfly? <laughs> we decided to split the video into two parts. Please go and watch part two for the creation of the other hair pieces and the wig reveals. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>